Is it on? <laughs> nope, not yet. You can never tell when it's on. You should probably talk about somebody. Yeah, right. It's not on. No. All right. Well, we'll try it anyway. So we're back. We finally made it home from Las Vegas. Hell of a day and a half or two days or a day. I don't even know what it was. I lost track. All that fun, what a nightmare. All that fun you saw us having? Mm, no. <laughs> I came to a screeching halt. Monday night, flight's supposed to leave 10 p.m. We get to the airport, we're early, we've got a hamburger and fries. Hanging around, flight's supposed to leave, I think it was 10, 15 p.m. So 10 o'clock comes, they say what, delayed till 11 o'clock, I think. Yeah. And then delayed till midnight. Then delayed till 1 a.m. I'm thinking at this point, I just want to go to sleep. I already took my sleeping pills. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think it was easy dragging him around the airport. I already took my sleep pill to sleep all the way home. I think my suitcase had wheels. I sat him on the back. We just kind of... Wheel gone. Eh, One o'clock comes in a.m. Flight delayed till 10 a.m. Think it all. you got to be kidding me. But wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> it's better. But anyway, before that, something different I've smoked. A couple times I smoked this. The CAO Cameroon... I don't even know what size you call it, but it's small. It's a, uh, I don't well, know what they call it. It looks like a short story. Yeah, but it's small. I'm telling you, the other day I smoked with three, four bangs on it. I was done. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking like for a 10 minute smoke. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is, is your guy. <laughs> but it packs a lot of flavor for a little cigar. You just got to smoke five of them. Yeah, well, that's all. But no, it does. A lot of flavor, really nice, uh, full bodied, I would say. Yeah. Got a little kick to it. But it's a nice short smoke. Great packaging. Was oh, recent, yeah. recently repackaged. Yeah. They're going to come out with the other other sizes in the line mm -hmm. with that nice bright green. Looks good. Yeah. Looks really good. But it, it really a lot of flavor. So anyway, back to the story. I said, all right, well, so now we have eight or nine hours till our flight takes off. And there's no way I'm staying in the airport for that long. Because we're I mean, there how many well, hours already? That's when it takes off. But we still have to leave the airport, come back, go through security all over well, again. Well, we could have just stayed in the yeah, airport. Yeah, we could have just stayed. Doing that. We yeah. were already there for, what, five, six hours? Yeah. Oh, so sad. We'll get a hotel even if it's for a couple hours. So we're calling. I said, Mike, let's just try and call some places now and we'll take an Uber, whatever the closest is. So uh, you get on the phone, Candlewood Suites, but you get the central reservation. They put you through the whole friggin' bullshit. Uh, I just want a goddamn room tonight. They know my shoe size now. Right. Every night. night. We'll be there in 10 minutes because we're already two miles from the airport. Two miles. So we go out to get an Uber, right? Get there two miles away. He jacked us for like 38 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two miles, $38. But what the hell we get? We're not in no bargaining position at this point. <laughs> not at all. One, one o'clock in the morning. No leverage. So we get to Candlewood. Nice kid there with painted fingernails <laughs> and crap. All right. Michael says we're here. Barletta Reservation. No, nope, we don't got one. What do you mean? We just stopped, like, hung up the phone, like, five minutes ago. Well, the lady no on the central reservation, because he said tonight, but meaning, like, now, when we told her 10, made it for that night, he said, no, you're checking in at 3 p.m. You're going to be kidding me. I said, all right, well, we're going to argue. Just, we need a room. We don't have no rooms. We're sold out. I said, you got to be kidding me. Well, wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> So I said, first, so there's a Holiday Inn next door. I says, he said, I'll call the Holiday Inn, see if they have a room. Because we told him our store, we only need it really for five hours. A couple six, hours. A couple hours. hours. <laughs> Calls the Holiday Inn, they're sold out. Wonder what they were thinking. I need a hotel room for a couple well, hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're sold out. Maybe they're not that kind of hotel. <laughs> we, couldn't been, that. We, we couldn't have been the first, you know, to ask for a room for a couple hours in Vegas, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, he said, well, we do have a room available, but only has one bed. <laughs> said, oh, it's been a long day, I know, but God. I knew, no what, way. What, I knew what my answer was, but I was just yeah, curious yeah, to see yeah. where he was going. I thought about it, I thought, oh, hell no, we'll go. He said, well, I have a friend that works at a hotel a mile or two away. I'll call over there. <laughs> Right. So he calls, he says, oh yeah, he's got a room. It's real nice. I'm perfect. <laughs> I said, can we walk there? He said, no, it's because it was like a mile and a half, two miles. So get back. Um, I said, well, could you get us a cab? No, no cabs. No cab. No cabs available right now. Nothing. Ain't no cab. Now it's one thirty. Vegas. Uh, everywhere you go, something's happening. It's like daytime at no. night. No so cabs. I go back on the app, get Uber. 
get the guy for you. You know, jack this for another 38 bucks. <laughs> two, two miles. So we're waiting and waiting and never comes. So you could look on your app and see where he's at. Well, I see him. He was, he was nowhere near us. He was lost. So there's a number on there. I called him. I said, yo, you're lost. He said, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I said, cancel, Michael. We're going in, taking the bed. We're taking the room with the one bed. I don't care. What the hell ever you want to do, have your way when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a long day. We're sitting around now for how long? <laughs> so, all right. Call him. We're waiting. He's not coming. So we go back in and see the guy. But you have to knock because the door is uh, well, everything. So locked. we go in there and I said, you know what? We're going to take that room with the one bed. <laughs> what do you say? We've got a problem. He said, well, before you... Now, he said something like, uh, before you decide on that, I should tell you. He said, it kind of smells a little bit like piss in there. <laughs> <laughs> and only has one pillow, as if the pillow part would have been the problem. <laughs> so not only does that have that one bed, but it kind of smells a little bit like piss. <laughs> well, I'm already at the one bed. I ain't going in anywhere that smells like piss. So... Back on our app to get a friggin' Uber to go over uh, whatever, I don't remember the name of what the hotel was. So we're waiting, and he said, I don't know, it was probably 20 minutes he was waiting. So I had a little cigar left in my bag, <laughs> in my carry-on bag. Doing anything to keep his eyes open. Right, so point. I figured, well, I'm gonna have the cigar. He said he's gonna be 15, 20 minutes. I could whack this thing down real quick. <laughs> Another problem. Goddamn TSA agent took my lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, he already took the lighter. Yeah, he took my light. I had no lighter. But I'm very resourceful. I don't even know if you knew I did this. So that was outside. Actually, I don't know how you I don't know, I don't know if you were... Okay? <laughs> don't tell me you took a cigarette out of the ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the smoking shed there. You think everybody's out there smoking, but no. But Kevin would had a pool area there. I spotted a gas grill. <laughs> no. No, you didn't. Went over the gas grill, took the grill out, <laughs> fired it up. You just my head in there. <laughs> no, you didn't. How was I going to light it? There was a gas grill. I guess if you want to, because that was one of them extended safe places. Yeah, yeah. They had a grid fire in, nice grill in. That's what you call a tabletop lighter. Tabletop lighter. Holy shit. So I didn't know that. I don't, I don't know. What, what the hell was I doing? I don't know. <laughs> you were sitting over there. I figured I got to have this. That's all. Right. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> that's what where, I was thinking. Where's that. Tommy? <laughs> Oh, he's over at the yeah, town place yeah. suites already. Yeah. He didn't have to take the cab. So we got there, but that was a nice hotel. It was really right. nice there, nice there. We stayed there a couple hours. Get back to the airport at 8.30 in the morning for a 10 o'clock flight. As soon as we're getting ready to leave, flight delayed till noon. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. So what time did we end up getting out of Like 1 o'clock, 1.30? We got on the plane around, after around noon. noon, and then we didn't take off until about 1.30. Right. We got back into Philly. About about nine ten nine thirty, yeah. Got home around midnight. That was a hell of two days. Oh man! But it was still worth it. The yeah, car trade that was outstanding. Absolutely. Excited to see a lot of new stuff coming out, new blends, new yeah. new cigars, new everything. I got to see how you act on sleeping pills and yeah, sleeping pills like that. Man. We did pretty good at blackjack and roulette tables. We did. Right. Yes, we Quite did. A couple hundred bucks a piece. Yes, we did. Anytime you come back with more of their money. I mean, and we, we were able to play. We were able to play. I mean, we had a, we had a good time. Yeah. We kept kept us busy. Had a couple of nice dinners. Yeah. A couple of nice drinks. Seen some of our friends that we haven't seen in a couple of years. I mean, we got there Friday night. Saturday morning, we're already, you know, we, we met up with a couple of friends of ours from Western PA. We try to do that every, every year. Talk business, talk shop, what's selling for you, yeah. you know. They've already recommended a product that they're doing phenomenal with, which we've already received and have started selling like crazy. Yeah. You know, so right there, you know, the trip is worth it, you know. But, um, you know, everybody thinks it's out there, but I mean, we were, we were our asses up Saturday, Sunday, and oh, after day, Monday. A beat for we like four days of, after. Right? We got a lot accomplished in them couple of short days. You know, we and, there. and a lot of the things that I like to do when we go there is not necessarily, yeah, looking for the new product and stock in the store, merchandising ideas and things like that. But it's it's talking to, you know, other retailers in the industry, you know. Well, only because I like doing it too, but because there's so many cigars and other products out there that you have no idea even exists. You know, uh, you know, take for example how we came across, you know, the LCA cigar monthly. Yeah. And like 
a lot of stories you don't know them, and they say, hey, you know, you should go see so and so over there. He came out with this, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, and and let's face it, the theme of the show was Connecticut's with pop, right? Mm -hmm. That are are nice and, and fuller bodied. And that's what I'm smoking here is the Aladino by JRE. This is the Queens. It's a new oh, size. I just bought a couple of them. I didn't smoke really, that yet. Uh, really nice size. I like the size is perfect. Yeah, though. a little Figurado on the one end. Uh, I'd say about a 46, 47 ring gauge yeah, maybe. Size of an 858. But it's, it's not a typical Connecticut. And you guys know I'm not a big fan of Connecticut's. Although since we started doing these, I've been smoking a lot of stuff out of my wheelhouse and I'm glad I have. But really nice flavor to this, you know, and yeah. apparently this is their best-selling line. They've got the Reserve Corojo. That, to me, that's the best is, cigar. Is outstanding. That's one of my so top that, cigars ever smoked. So that's saying something about about their Connecticut. That well, I think so, too. Like I think some people get scared away from that Corojo. Yeah. Just because of what it is, but it's really not that powerful. Because if I could smoke it without, you know, well, issues or anything yeah. it's not bad but i i think that's one of the top five cigars i ever smoked yeah that, yeah that, sure. that Corolla. absolutely and that's going back 15 years but i'm looking forward to that i bought a couple this is of really, them i didn't smoke it yet you know what this is like this size is almost it's very similar to the uh fuente signature hmm. it's similar in size that's in my top five too the signature yeah. yeah how come your top five has like 30 in it <laughs> hey, hey, it could change. I smoke something new that comes out. Something's got to switch, right? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, if friggin' Forbes magazine could do it every year, right? It changes it every year. That's true. So could I. That's right. True. We have different things in there all very, the time. Very, very valid point. So moral of the story, we had a great time in Vegas. Came back with some of their money. Right. Don't like sleeping in smelly, pissy beds. Nope. Sat in that airport for way too long. I Spent more time in an airport. airplane. Mark Weisenberger was with us, uh, not with us, but on the same flight. You know, he, he was. Oh, was he? Yeah. Mark oh, was I didn't know he was on that flight. <laughs> we're talking to him. <laughs> he had the sleeping pills. I didn't know he was on our flight. I remember yeah. seeing him at the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. But still, like to know, the guy sitting across the aisle from me after all this radio room. All he kept saying, he was uh, going on. He kept telling us the stewardess and whoever would listen to him that he's writing a letter to American Airlines about his experience. Think about it. <laughs> Nobody's going to even read that From letter. From number one, who gets a letter these days? Yeah. But <laughs> oh, he said that about 10 times. I'm writing them a letter. Yeah. I'm not paying for this flight. I, I Shut up and go to sleep. sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the Don't Be a Dick podcast. There you but, go, uh, yeah. He was a dick. He was a dick. <laughs> Nobody was listening to him. Like, everybody was like, yeah. Everybody, oh, they, everybody on that plane went through the same thing we did for the last, you know, however many hours. All yeah. they wanted to do was sit down, get that plane in the air, mm -hmm. and be on their way. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we got a lot of great product coming in. Yeah. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Um, we're excited. So until next Good. time. Have a great day.